Queen was so enraged by Margaret Thatcher's refusal to back sanctions on apartheid that she wanted to scrap their weekly meetings. The Queen was in a rage with Margaret Thatcher over her refusal to back sanctions against South Africa and considered scrapping their weekly audience, newly declassified files reveal. Her Majesty is said to have fumed that the then Prime Minister had damaged her Commonwealth by refusing to support hardline actions against the racist apartheid regime. Her anger, which apparently erupted after a 1987 Commonwealth Heads of Government summit, is revealed in official Irish files released under the country's 30-year rule. A Buckingham Palace source briefed an Irish diplomat on the situation who in turn reported back to the Irish Prime Minister. The Commonwealth summit took place in Vancouver, with tighter sanctions against South Africa among the issues that were discussed. During the talks 47 other leaders agreed to increase pressure on the country to end its apartheid system in which black people were segregated from whites. But Mrs Thatcher refused to back the calls to end the discriminatory practice, and Britain was blamed for thwarting the move. The conference ended in bitterness and recriminations among presidents and prime ministers from the former colonies. Mrs Thatcher was seen as having blundered badly. An Irish diplomat based in London reported back to Dublin that she well knows but cannot admit her mistake. After speaking with a source inside Buckingham Palace, Richard Ryan. A former charged affairs at Ireland's embassy in London, sent a memo to his Prime Minister's office. There is a wide view too that the Queen is in a rage with Mrs Thatcher over her handling of the sanctions question, not because of the substance of the argument but because of its style. The Queen, it is said, sees the insensitivity as further damaging her Commonwealth at a sensitive time, he wrote. Such was the Queen's anger she considered scrapping her weekly audience with Mrs Thatcher. The palace source told Mr. Ryan, the Queen can use the audience to express her views on government matters. The diplomat, referring to the Queen as Brenda, a nickname coined by the satirical magazine Private Eye, reported, a source in the palace said that Brenda was seriously considering cancelling last night's Tuesday audience with the Prime Minister. This audience is a standard matter, as regular as cabinet meetings which has existed for more than a century. Mrs Thatcher's moods at the time also caused concerns about their possible impact on Anglo-Irish relations. She was in very bad form over problems in the financial markets which badly set back her plans to sell off the government's remaining stake in the once state-owned oil giant BP. Mr Ryan warned that difficulties in Dublin-London relations could be worsened in the short term at least by Mrs Thatcher's present mood. In a footnote, the diplomat suggested that his information on her frame of mind need not be given too much weight but added, We have, though, in the past seen some examples of how the PM's moods can make life more difficult for those around her and doing business with her. They tend to add a measure of harshness to her tone and increase her tendency to fix on and reiterate single and simple points. The files also reveal that the Queen was very much in favour of the Anglo-Irish agreement saying it was a step in the right direction. The accord, signed by Mrs Thatcher and her Irish counterpart Garrett Fitzgerald in 1985, aimed to bring an end to the troubles by giving the Irish government an advisory role in Northern Ireland's affairs. It sparked mass protests among Unionists in Northern Ireland. In 1987 the Queen's then press secretary Michael Shea had lunch with an Irish diplomat who reported back to the Irish Premier's office. In his report of the private meeting he said the monarch was in favour of the accord, and a fan of Mr Fitzgerald.